What's up guys, today I want to answer the question of whether rifling works to improve accuracy in Nerf. I'm going to go outside to my test range and shoot from a distance of 100 feet with first of all no rifling, then I'll attach a blaster tech and finally I'll attach an accuratio. I'll be shooting a set of 15 ACC darts and 15 worker gen 3 darts through each setup. But first, a little about these attachments. The Blaster Tech Mark II Scar Barrel uses string for its rifling and by design is adjustable. That means you can experiment to find what works best for you. It also has porting to vent muzzle blast. This costs 1339 USD plus shipping from my own country of Australia. The second type of rifling I'll be reviewing today is from LEGO D on Etsy and it's called the Accuratio. Unlike the Blaster Tech, it has completely 3D printed rifling and it also has porting for the muzzle blast. This costs $4.60 USD plus shipping. I'll quickly mention for those of you who are not familiar with modified Nerf blasters, these kind of rifling attachments are designed for sealed breech internals. So these are not for the stock internals that you buy from your local toy store. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and welcome to our hobby. Introduction over, let's get to some shooting. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be shooting from a distance of 100 feet. This particular blaster is an Exus 2 with Omega internals kit inside, and with a 16 kilo spring it fires 250 feet per second. I'll be aiming at a green waste bin, and at the end of each set I'll show the groupings of where the shots landed, and centre the groupings so they can be compared. First up, ACC darts with no rifling. The ACC darts with no rifling had a pretty horrible grouping. Some darts were so bad that they turned at a 90 degree angle on their way to the target. So let's move on to no rifling with worker gen 3 darts.
The worker Gen 3s with no rifling had a bit of a spread to them, but way better than the ACCs. That's the end of the no rifling sets. Let's move on to the Blastertech Mark II with its string based rifling. First up, ACC darts. The ACC darts with a Blastertech Mark II had a really nice grouping. Compared to Worker with no rifling, the difference is night and day. And ACC versus ACC with no rifling, no comment needed. Now for Worker Gen 3 darts with a Blastertech Mark II. Thank you. 
Wow, the worker Gen 3s had a really sweet grouping. The workers have basically taken the ACC spread and shrunken it. I don't know if we'll be able to top this result today, but let's move on to LEGO D's Accuratio, which is a completely 3D printed rifling attachment. Now, I found it to be a little loose on my blaster, so I ended up using some electrical tape to hold it secure. First up, firing ACC darts. With the ACC darts and Accuratio, I had 4 shots where the ACC dart tips blew completely off. I plotted where the foam landed on the grass, but I'm happy to leave those shots out of the comparison. When we overlay the ACCs and Worker Gen 3s from Blaster Tech, I had much tighter groupings with both of those. But let's see how the Accuratio performs with Worker Gen 3 darts.
Looking at the Worker Gen 3 results with the Accu Ratio, none of the darts lost their tips like the ACCs did. I had one Worker Dart go off to the right a little, but overall the groupings looked pretty similar. Again, overlaying the Blaster Tech results, it seems in real world conditions the Blaster Tech is performing better with my particular Blaster setup. However, the Accu Ratio performed very well too, and is a much cheaper option to buy. For me personally, I'll be sticking with the Blaster Tech, but I think if you went with the Accu Ratio, you'd have a good time too. Coming back to the original question of this video, does rifling work for Nerf? I'd have to say conclusively that the answer is yes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.